How's it going everyone? It's been a while since I made a video and I'm pretty much here to tell you why right now. So, um, so I haven't posted a video in several months. I don't really know how long it's been, but um, a couple things have gone wrong in my life recently, starting with uh, my last computer and my hard drive both blowing up. Um, so I had several videos on there that I was going to upload, probably three or four that were really good videos. Uh, I was pretty proud of, and I was going to get those up, get my channel rolling a little bit. And then the computer blew up and absolutely toasted the hard drive. And I guess, uh, supposedly, it's impossible to get it off there unless you take the physical disks out of the hard drive and do something with it. So. That sucked. I had some good videos on there that I was going to upload. Uh, one was a full uh, review type thing for my car. And I had a couple other other reviews. One was for 2000, I think, Subaru RS. A pretty sick car. And, and I think there was just some vlogs. And um, all of that was lost. And it's really disappointing about the review with my car to me because I love that video. I mean, I mean, it was pretty good. I talked about how I got into cars uh, in the first place and how I got my car and why we got that car and all that stuff. Um, basically, everything about it. And the reason that that is crappy that I lost that is because of reason number two that my life has kind of taken a crap on me recently. Uh, and that is because my car got wrecked, and um, I don't know. It's been pretty crappy. Uh, it wasn't my fault. I was going to work. I was doing the speed limit, doing everything right, completely right. And an old grandma that probably shouldn't have been on the road. Um, I don't know what she was thinking. Uh, but anyways, she decided to pull out right in front of me, um, trying to turn to the other side of the road, uh, and decided to collide with my car, pretty much. So, um, it's pretty bad. I'll throw up some pictures of my car. Her car was totaled. The front bumper and headlight area and grill were all torn off and all of her airbags were blown so uh, that's I think that's a total when uh, when the airbags blow and my car's pretty messed up uh, she got the, the fender uh, the, the nose the hood is all crumpled up and everything um, at first we weren't sure if the frame was bent at all, but it's kind of looking like it is. Uh, um, her insurance has been uh, incredibly horrible and probably one of the worst experiences I've ever had with a professional company. And it's taken them forever to do anything. It's been almost two weeks. I think it was two weeks since the accident and they finally got a rental for me. And I can't even drive it because I'm 18. You have to be 21 to rent the car, even though they, she like rented it out to me. Her insurance, uh, the lady I talked to, put it in my name or whatever, but I can't drive it legally. So it's been a mess. Um, we don't really know how much they're going to give us for it. It's definitely it's total because it's an older car, and insurance companies won't mess with. Uh, cars that they have to put work into. So, what I'm thinking to do is get it back and hopefully the insurance money will cover enough of the rebuild. Uh, the quarter panel also got messed up and that's going to be really hard because the whole front end, fender's hood, uh, header panel, which is the nose and everything, are all bolt on essentially. Uh, but the quarter panel is part of the car and that's got smashed in pretty good as well as uh, the glass back there was popped uh, so 
I think we're going to have to buy another uh, G body wagon like that and tear the frame out and probably the glass and since it's likely we'll get a Malibu, none of the panels are going to line up because uh, I think the body lines are different between the Malibu, the Cutlass, the Real, all that stuff uh, within the G body line. Um, so, but yeah, we're thinking to rebuild it. Um, we got a six liter. Uh, LS motor for it that's going to have a Texas speed. Uh, basically, the entire top half of the motor is going to be Texas speed. It's going to have heads, cam, all that crap. Uh, probably an intake too. And so, if it ever gets up and running again, that's how it's going to. That's the, the next time it's on the road, it's going to be LS powered. Uh, so, it's just kind of getting to that point, I guess, and so I've been uh, pretty down, feeling down about it, as well as not motivated to do anything or film anything, so that's another reason I haven't had any videos up, because uh, I, I did build another computer, it's pretty pretty nice, uh, first computer I ever built, I had some help with that from my buddy, my friend who I did the video for the Nissan Hardbody truck. So yeah, I've got a new computer, got a nice monitor. Um, so fully capable of doing videos again. It's just now I gotta find content because I can't do stuff with my car right now. So yeah, I wasn't even planning on making this video until like 30 seconds ago when I just kind of whipped out my camera. Uh, so another thing is my job has had me down recently, so I'm I'm gonna try to get out of there, and then uh, if I do, if I can get out of there, because I work uh, night shift right now, so I don't have any daytime whatsoever to uh, film any type of videos. So if I get out of there, there's a higher chance that I will be able to make videos, which is what I want to do. So we'll see. All right, thanks for watching. All right, see ya.